pray that you'll all stay out of trouble today. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll pray in my language. Hey, go that hat no chinga. Go that you train gang it hat no chinga. Go that you in and jack with an sign so quiet at the tent and die when she teen, she mean I take in the details of the good at each side at that. Go to go and die in the teeth at the end of the tent. President's breakfast was a uh, was a big success. Uh, I really enjoyed the day. The day went by very fast. Number one because people were having fun. They were seeing new things. They were seeing First Nations way of uh, life. Some of the things that we had yesterday was. Uh, Panic making at the fire pit, which was pretty exciting. The sewing was exciting. The stick gambling was exciting. The drumming, and there was a lot of learning yesterday by staff. And uh, I was very happy to see a lot of staff stayed here till 4:30. So it's just my first first year at college, and uh, uh, it was very productive yesterday. We had good food, we had excellent food in the morning at the art center, we had pretty good spread there. Lunch time was uh, really exciting to see all the staff eat together and talk and just to build a relationship so that they can do better work, better work this year. So it was a, a whole day was pretty productive and I think staff got Staff got a better understanding because number one they they talk about it and then they experience it, so now they understand. So, oh, yesterday was just great to um, hear from First Nations people um, what their experience has been like, um, especially how they just opened up um, really their heart and soul and told us uh, what their life has been like and what their ancestors' life has been like, um, how important the traditions are uh, to them. Um, I think uh, it was a learning experience for us all, and uh, I just really thank the President for making that a possibility for us. Did you have a favorite part of, today, of the day? My favorite part was going home smelling like a campfire. <laughs> Did you have a sense of what a, a close community we have here at the college? Oh, definitely. I think for that I came walking through the college and uh, looked down into the pit and there were people doing hand games there and they looked like they had all been the best friends forever, all laughing and cheering and having a great time. I really enjoyed um, how some of the elders put themselves right out there and talked about how their life had affected them and, and how that might really truly impact the students coming in. Gives us some thoughts, gives me some thoughts on um, how I might be able to 
put myself out to the First Nations community. I've been to two culture camps, so I've, I've been through some of it before, and I think I do a pretty good job, but it's still, you know, bringing it back home um, makes it come alive that, you know, some of these students are really struggling, and if we can help, we should. So, yeah, I really, really liked it. Did you have a favorite part of yesterday? I love the drumming. Drumming? Yeah. Okay. I thought yesterday, I've been around, I've uh, been working at the college for about three and a half years now, um, and it was the first president's breakfast that really brought the college together as a community. I thought um, the theme was important because a lot of uh, a lot of what we focus on here is how to attract and retain First Nation students from the communities, and. Um, I think that in turn in you know in terms of helping the staff understand where these students come from um, it was important to, to bring in people to talk about the different culture different cultural components between um, the First Nations culture and um, you know the culture down south that some of us bring up when we move here um, in the afternoon we had the staff participating in um, hand games and drumming and singing and uh, making bannock and people were laughing and talking and um, surprisingly um, I think they were it surprised them they surprised themselves at how interested they were and how involved they became and um, I think it was just a small taste of uh, of the culture but it was a good first step and hopefully we'll do more of that um, Favorite part? My favorite part. Hmm. I think my favorite part was playing the hand games. I'd heard so much about it over time, and I went to Moosehide a couple years ago and missed out on it then. Um, and it was it was great. It was fun. It was everybody was was included. Yeah. Uh, we all felt included, and we all you know learned the game and uh, laughed and um, danced and shared good positive vibes. So that was great. It was lots of laughter. Lots of laughter. Yeah.